Hey everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and try to <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> So, yeah, with me not wanting to speak like um, It wasn't like uh, A lot of it is because I feel like I get myself in trouble Because I end up speaking too much On things that I feel extremely passionate about And, but it's like I, <laughs> I can't, ex you know, it's Obviously, I mean, I feel like everybody, like the first time I watched a documentary on Darfur and I saw what was going on in Africa with that, that situation in Darfur and to just know the extent of poverty and the issues and the fact that it's like literally, uh, I, I mean, it's, <clears throat> there is like really no law or government. I mean, largely, and some parts are, are much better than others, but a lot of Africa, I feel, I could be, you know, I don't, I haven't done a lot of work, but what I feel is that a lot of Africa is largely governed by warlords and like thugs and gangs and fucking criminals essentially so <clears throat> like upon hearing that and seeing the devastation in darfur especially and like and at the time i watched this when i was living in, you know i mean just anybody in america with all that we have is like it's a completely different situation than they have in africa and upon watching that i was like i was compelled to do something about it i was like this is fucking horrible and i remember I very much in the same similar amount of space and time I also watched a, a documentary on CERN and I was like you know these scientists feel like they've done the best thing on the world in, in like creating this this fucking CERN technology and I'm like you know like you know there are children starving to death in Africa and you guys are sitting here floating your boats like you've done the most you know miraculous thing in the planet <clears throat> when it really still hasn't yet actually done anything that I've found to be even helping humanity and and, and it's cost a lot of fucking money I, I don't know how much it's cost but I'm sure that, that you know it probably goes into the trillions if not more I could be wrong it might not cost trillions but it's got to cost at least millions I'm sure billions and possibly trillions of dollars <clears throat> So I'm bringing this up for a reason. The reason why I chose to say that I feel like the Most High doesn't want me to speak is because I was feeling extremely low in energy. Like my energy was fucking low as fuck. So I was like, well, you know, I, it, what happens to your body happens, you know, everything happens, even the bad stuff is ordained by, I feel, higher power. <clears throat> so if this is why like sickness everything you know bad stuff that happens to you for whatever reason it happened for a reason and it was ordained so it's like there's a there's a something to be learned out of the pain and for me it's like okay if i'm sitting here <clears throat> you know feeling kind of bad about some of the things i just said a few days ago and then now i'm starting to feel tired and like i should stop speaking and it's hard it's even hard for me to speak um then that's to me seems like a sign to stop speaking but it wasn't because I didn't want to work on things with a particular person or like trying to like, you know, hurt her or anything like that. No, it was largely to do with me and like, you know, regards to, you know, the starving children in Africa, the hemp plant, like my frustration with politics and just the human collective condition right now. And where I see most of people's minds are at is just not where I feel it needs to be in order for us to be successful. Okay, it's not like a personal like, oh, I want people to, you know, th talk about this stuff because it's what I like to talk about. No, it's not that at all. It's it's like if we are to survive and have a good future for the billions of people on this planet, we have to change our ways. It's that simple. It's so when I fail to see people talking about this shit and then I continue to see people saying like giving me excuses that I feel are just excuses, they're not actual fucking good reasons why more can't be done about this. It frustrates me, you know, but that, you know, when I react badly, I'm allowing those people that triggered me to have power over me. And <clears throat> I don't even think those people are trying to trigger me. They're just being themselves. And I'm reacting badly to how they are, which is also my fault. I shouldn't be acting in a negative way just because they're expressing who the fuck they are. I should just do my best to react as healthily as I can and share what information I've learned. And if it resonates with them and they want to change for the better, then, then they can. If not, then that's their choice too. Um, so first off, I just want to just clear up that, you know, me saying that I feel like I need to stop speaking. It wasn't, you know, try, I feel like a particular person might've taken that as a slight towards her. And that's not what it is at all. Like, you know, if I was, you know, that's just not what it was. If I wanted to end things, I would have done my farewell. Like, you know, I just, thing like I usually do so I didn't do that because that's not how I feel I do want to continue like I would love to work on things with her you know I'm not gonna be I mean there's obviously a lot that needs to be taken care of for both of us you know maybe not as much as we think but there's definitely a lot that needs to get worked out um 
But, you know, I, when I look at everybody else, like, you know, <clears throat> I think most cup, if I feel like everybody's got stuff to grow on. So, I mean, it's not like that. Me saying that, I don't want that to seem like, you know, I, don't, I, I hope that doesn't deter anybody and myself too at times because I, I can get a little down on shit. But it's natural. I mean, couples are going to fight, you know. I mean, the, the one relationship I had, like, we actually didn't really, we didn't really fight, you know. But I think a lot of that was because I... I wasn't honest. I didn't really, I mean, I, I was honest, but I wasn't forthcoming with my feelings. I didn't really talk with her, share with her, like anything really, like, even though we had a, a pretty deep connection, we didn't really get into any real deep conversations about anything. I was still relatively closed off and shy as as a man. And I have been that way with, with, with all females. Like, this is why, like, a particular person, she's the only female that I really, like, opened up to on, on emotional uh, level like just with everything that I am and who I am and how I feel about shit and you know that's why I think when you know and then when I <clears throat> anyways so I'm getting a little ahead of myself I just wanted to initially make this video to say that you know to give more of an explanation as to why I felt like it, the most highs wanted me to perhaps be a little bit more quiet or not speak up as much and I think that from what I've gathered from my days of being a little bit quieter is that I just need to learn how to be a little bit healthier to um to people who disagree with me in regards to like you know saving starving children and the planet and co2 the politics you know all that like i need to learn how to react a little bit healthier and if i am to get this done i can't continue like condemning and attacking people while trying to build this at the same time because that's just not going to work you know and so <clears throat> um anyways i think that's good for now i'll continue on um a little bit later all right i love you guys i'll take care bye